Richard Norquist wrote, quote, a metaphor expresses the unfamiliar in terms of the familiar. In a figure of speech, an implied comparison is made between two unlike things that actually have something in common, unquote. Robert F. Schrader sees metaphor as the basis of his intellectual and artistic vision, creating work that is as seductive as the real objects he imitates. Schrader constructs pieces of furniture about people, issues, and events, which also function as containers that open. Created in the shapes of overstuffed and worn furniture pieces, each object reflects the presence of a person through the details used, leaving a story behind for Schrader to tell. The designs are also suggestive of a time period in the life of the person represented, felt in the folds and lumps of the piece. Fabricated of copper, brass, and bronze sheet metal, the sterling silver inlays create line drawings on the metal. The furniture is finished with surface textures and patterns to suggest fabric and softer materials that contrast with the hard, cold metal. Schrader creates these pieces to be held, touched, and opened as he is interested in how each viewer's body chemistry affects the coloring of the metal. In time, they become worn by years of use, like an antique brass doorknob taking on a patinated glow. With his bracelets, Schrader expertly employs shape and line to suggest a person's thoughts or a story in popular culture, sometimes referring to art about art, recreating a parody of imagery in art history by changing the details of the image to introduce new meaning. The pink flamingos are uplifting, while the animal bracelets make their own distinctive statement. The animal theme is continued in Schrader's newest collection of sterling silver endangered and extinct animal flatware, which makes dining similar to going on safari. Years of fine-tuning his art have brought Schrader to this time for reflection, looking back while moving forward to new metaphorical spaces and places, times and people. I'm Dr. Laurel Campbell, Indiana University, Purdue University, Fort Wayne. Robert F. Schrader utilizes a common image, the domestic armchair, as a vehicle for delivering personal commentary on social and political issues. In his works, he recreates miniature versions of these everyday objects and covers them with imagery and text. His small-scale metal sculptures depict overstuffed chairs and sofas, often found in the residential environment. For him, the chair becomes an actual container as seat cushions lift off to reveal spaces underneath. These hidden areas often contain words or likenesses making these works also a receptacle for Schrader's ideas. He frequently combines a portrait of a specific individual who is the subject of the piece with excerpts from this person's writings. The selected wording reflects Schrader's personal views on his subject and the larger issues this figure is connected to by their actions and personal history. While some of his sculptures are devoted to a generalized topic, such as the writ of habeas corpus, most of Schrader's chairs depict specific people. He is interested in recording individuals involved in the struggle for human rights, such as Martin Luther King and Simon Wiesenthal, while also focusing on people whose courage has been inspirational, including Anne Frank and Rosa Parks. Figures from culture are represented as well in works devoted to Christo and Jean-Claude and Kurt Vonnegut. These sculptures function as a personal memorial to historically significant people and also as an attempt to place these larger-than-life figures in a context where they can be appreciated as individuals. 
By associating these people with a welcoming piece of household furnishing, the viewer is reminded of the humanity of the subject, as if sitting with them for a time and carrying on a conversation. These works have a strong sense of the personal and of domestic life. As with any well-used piece of household furniture, with its folds, lumps, and worn surfaces, these chairs begin to suggest the bodies of the people who might regularly sit in them. Their padded arms and camelbacks are of a classic style that communicates a sense of security and relaxation. These are comfort furnishings with their rounded contours and welcoming arms arranged at the hearth where stories are to be shared. In a world filled with information and little time to pause, the size of these pieces draws the viewer into them to investigate and reflect. Schrader is a professionally trained metalsmith who, in effect, draws in silver on the copper's surface. He creates elaborate preparatory studies for each sculpture that include former drawings and collages, cut out paper model patterns, articles and photographic documentation, and portraits he has made of his subject. Often he exhibits the patterns alongside the sculptures to demonstrate how each work functions. In some installations, Schrader places the small pieces on top of the drawings and related material as if arranging furniture on patterned flooring to create miniaturized sculptural environments. This exhibition at IPFW provides an excellent opportunity to learn more about the individuals featured in these pieces while simultaneously discovering more about Schrader's personal aesthetic interests when viewing a large body of his work. I'm Bruce W. Pepich, Executive Director and Curator of Collections at the Racine Art Museum, Racine, Wisconsin. A sincere thank you is extended to the collectors who lent the artworks from their collections to make the exhibition possible. They include Karen Johnson Boyd, Jan Fox, Jim Kidder, Marlene Koenigs, September and Jim McConnell, Tony Olin, Donna and Herb Snyder, the Wisconsin Union at UW-Madison, Audrey Yushenko, and the family of Alice and Wilbur Mertens. Special acknowledgement is due to the Department of Fine Arts faculty, especially John Rahoff, Professor of Painting, and Dana Goodman, Chair and Associate Professor, professor of Sculpture, for their support of this exhibition project. A heartfelt thank you to all of my colleagues in the IPFW Department of Fine Arts, both faculty and staff, for their continued support of my artworks. My sincere thanks also go to members of the IPFW College of Visual and Performing Arts Dean's Office, particularly Susan Domer, Marketing and Public Relations Specialist, Barbara K. Romines, Business Manager, Gary Lanier, Secretary to the Dean of Visual and Performing Arts, Maggie Hunter, Assistant to the Dean, College of Visual and Performing Arts, and Charles O'Connor, Dean and Professor of Theater, for their continued assistance and support. I greatly appreciate the printed materials and poster created by IPFW Visual Communication Design student Don Gebhardt. Thank you to Bruce Pepich, Director of the Racine Art Museum, Racine, Wisconsin, for his essay about my artworks. I would also like to give credit for proofreading assistance with the label text editing to Eleanor Modi, to Jan Marshall Fox, and to Dr. Laurel Campbell. I'm Robert F. Schrader. I'm an associate faculty instructor of metalsmithing at Indiana University, Purdue University, Fort Wayne.